left and a screwdriver. You have your Phillips. The screwdriver. Do you want? Yeah, he needs the Phillips. Okay. No, no, he has it right here. You just put it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Where's his screwdriver? And um, no, el el destornillador. It was right here. We just used it a second ago. El destornillador que estuvo acá. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to come off. Yeah. These never go out if you, you don't want to move it for this. It's been off before we had to break it to get it off because this handle wouldn't come off. This is the, the, the magician product. Stage two of our helm conversion. <laughs> <laughs> so now we go inside the compasses, just remove the pedestal housing. This compass is off. And now we got to take the throttle controller off because this is the first part that's going to get replaced. We're going to do all the sanding and everything up here, get this all painted up nice, mount the new compasses. And now we just need to find out if he can get the Teleflex cables here for the throttle and shift. So that's what he's looking at now, just opening up to see what cables are on it. And uh, hopefully we can replace all at once. If we uh, have my doubts if we're going to get the cables here, but we want to replace at least the shifter and make sure everything is running freely and then we'll replace the cables when we get back to Panama if necessary. So that would be the next part. But for now we deal with uh, stuck components. <laughs> Dennis, make these more At the long. same time, we've got this project going to start, which is replacing our windows. Because as you can see, we got all the new material in from Sailrite. So very happy about that. We got one big roll and two small rolls to replace all the windows forward. So that's the project we're starting today. But this has always been a problem. It never fit properly. Yeah, for this the target tool is supposed to make these more long. Yeah, no, For I would me. be happy if he made it more long and even closed over this piece a little bit, you know? Oh, okay. If we add a little okay. piece in to close over here. The capital, I think, sorry, if you, you make this more long, like you tell me, eh, como tu me, me, me ha dicho, más largo, pero le gustaría que esta parte pudiera ser esta curva. And also just put a piece from here okay. to there. I did. With a snap here. Okay, le gustaría que esto Another snap here. Huh? Sería más largo, más grande. I'd rather just give him put a big heavy zipper on whatever he's got, and if it's got a bad zipper head on it, we'll just spray the shit. Tú puedes encontrar una zipa. We'll cover it with grease or something. Parecida a esta. Grande así. Es que yo compré en casa Eddie. This is they can bring today, no, for test. We can take one off today. Yeah, only this for day test. That's what I mean. We want to get this done before it starts blowing. Same thing. Can he do it this week before we get weather next week? El viento está empezando a soplar. Que la próxima semana está más fuerte. Tú puedes hacerme el before the weekend. Esos trabajos antes del fin de semana que empieza a soplar fuerte porque si no me va destruyendo todo. No puedo. Or make all he can make in two days. But the next Monday, he can start. That's why we wanted to do it last Tuesday. I we know. have huge weather coming next week. It's I going to be blowing you, like stink. 
we can't, you know, everything will be open. Apenas haga esto. A ver si tú ves cuánto tiempo te necesitas, eh, el hilo eso lo... y todo. Bueno. Ok. Vamos. Me salgo yo. This is our problem now. All the teeth fell out of the zipper. <laughs> so up here is dead. The zipper's completely destroyed. Just baked in the sun, I guess. I don't know. The other ones are all fine. But we're not going to be able to find these types of zippers here. So we're just going to replace it with whatever. And if it's got a metal head on it, we'll have to paint it or put grease on it or something. But we're hoping you can actually make time for it because we're up against the time constraint now. We're trying to get the boat ready to leave out of here. I ordered the stuff specifically for him to do the job and brought it in a week early and it was here on time, but the week is gone. They didn't make it here until today and now he's saying he can't do it till next week and that's not working. <laughs> so we have a big windstorm arriving this weekend. This is the complication. We can't take out all our windows when everything that we do out here would be compromised by the type of weather that we're going to have here next week. But we're hoping to have everything finished out here by, like, outside before the weather happens. Then we can finish our project inside while it's blowing a gale out here. And then we should be able to ready to just ride the next weather window out of here. So that's the goal. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> we have some variables to deal with. Welcome to the islands, man. Luckily, by some miracle, we found all three cables on this island. I still can't believe it, but I'm not gonna argue. So today's project begins with removing the old cables and fishing through the new ones. Shouldn't be too difficult a task, but definitely gonna take some time. We got some interesting corners to go around, and it's been about six years since these were changed, so there's likely gonna be some screws that are not gonna come apart as easy as we want them. But regardless, we are well underway and making progress. So with the installation of the new control cables almost completed, the only thing left was for me to get a new trim piece made for the new throttle. Down at the wood shop, they found a perfect offcut of solid teak for me and started shaving it down to the correct size. I can't tell you how great it was to access to this kind of facility on this little island. Yesterday you saw our guy cutting this small piece of teak at the factory. Now we've got the hole cut, we got the edges beveled, so it's pretty much ready. We just need to drill the holes for the mounting, get all the construction done on it, and 
then we'll varnish it and then it's ready to go. But for that, we need to test the fit and take the front panel off. Because this is what the teak piece is going to get mounted to. to admit to being a little bit OCD when it comes to alignment. I hate shit when it's crooked. <laughs> but that is looking pretty good. So then our trim piece would go on the outside and the handle would be right in there. So it should be perfect. piece will come in from behind and go right into its socket just like so. Got the mechanic guy coming back and he's going to take over just completing the install on this and we should be set. That's our main mechanical issue for now aside from you know transmission leak but uh, we can't deal with that here so we deal with that in Panama. So on we go. Next step. Okay, four suitably sized screws from our collection. And just need to drill the holes. <laughs> We're almost finished. Need a bit longer. There you have the piece de resistance. Oh, we need to win? Yeah. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. It's good. Ah, uh, look at yeah. One screw in the center. I think he's got it in his hand. button. Okay, good motion. Locks. And then pulls out for just throttle. Okay. Is the time, David. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, 
throttle works. The whole thing's a bit jiggly, I'm not sure why. We need another screw. Now it's still just throttle. Okay, it's going into reverse. This is reverse. Oh, no, it's backwards. So that's forward. Oh, we make the reverse. And this is a reverse. Don't fall in the water, guys. <laughs> Don't fall in the water. Okay, so... So the gears are working, it's just backwards. So the question is, do we reverse it on the transmission mount down there or switch it to the other side here? Yeah, I think so you have a problem for right the cable. I think so it's better. Because the cable needs to go to the other side or it needs to switch down below, one of the two. That's forward. So he understands it's backwards? Maybe. Second test. Shift cable reverse. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, we have forward thrust. chip on it. And I definitely don't want a brand new paint job with Be a chip careful, on it. Eh? Stay tuned for next episodes, guys, as our project list and upgrades continue and the SL Command Central is taking shape very nicely. Screw them down. All right, well, we know everything's working. This is good news. But right in the middle of it, we finally get our permission to leave Colombia for Panama, so it is time to go for a test sail. A little more, a little more. Thanks as always for watching, you know I appreciate it. Take care everybody, stay safe, and we'll see you out there. I think...
I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> it's still a disaster, but here is cool. They're not so cool. Okay, this is the finished product. Stage, this is, stage one. This is going to be the finished product tomorrow. Today, this, this is just roughly to check it. We still got a lot of stuff to align and fix behind the, you know, behind the panel, but. There's still more work to do here, but I just wanted to have a moment of satisfaction, you know. <laughs> Turn it all on and look at it work. And go, Fuck yeah. <laughs> Check that out.